Well, process trumps content. Hey, I'm Matt Peoples here with your Missionary Pathway Mission Insight. And today's insight actually comes out of a leadership training that I was doing with Mac Lake. You know, Mac Lake is one of the most brilliant leadership development minds out there today. And we were sitting in this and we were talking about content and he said, what's the key problem? Well, the key problem in leadership development, and it's the same with discipleship, is not content. In fact, I love the way Max said it. Max said, we don't have a content problem. We have a process problem. See, we live in a culture where there is so much content out there when it comes to training and discipleship. There's probably more content out there than there has ever been in human history. And yet we still have a leadership problem and a discipleship problem. So then the question becomes, well, okay, what's the issue? If the issue is not content, what is it? Well, the issue is process. Many of us don't have a simple and repeatable process to be able to make discipleship and leadership development a priority. We don't know what to do with the content when it comes to developing people as disciples and leaders. And so the first point today is simple. Have a simple and repeatable process. When you have a simple and repeatable process, it doesn't matter how great or how basic your content may be, that simple and repeatable process will actually help you get farther in the way of development and disciple making than you ever would with great content and poor process. So make sure you have a simple and repeatable process. And the reason it needs to be simple and repeatable is because if it's simple and repeatable, it's not only easy to utilize with people you're developing, but it's easy for them to utilize when they want to start developing people. And that's how you start developing disciples and leaders to the second, third, and fourth generation. Number two, and this is gonna sound like I'm harping because we've talked about it before, but number two is simple make time for development. You know, oftentimes we try to just throw content at the problem and we forget that we need to make time to develop people. In fact, we've talked about that in Mission Insights in the past. It's so important to schedule development into your schedule. And in fact, we've got a really great Mission Insight that talks about how you can make time to develop in the midst of a busy schedule. So make time to develop. And then number three, and this is really important, realize development Development takes time. Development takes time. You know, you can't slap together a three or a six week course and expect that people will be developed into mature leaders and disciple makers. The reality is it takes time. In fact, I love what Max says when it comes around to this. He says, leadership development and in translation, discipleship development, it takes a season. It takes a season to develop somebody. I mean, think about how Jesus walked with his disciples. He didn't just do a simple six week course and then release him out to share the gospel. No, he spent three years of ministry with them. He spent time walking with them, talking with them, taking time to develop, allowing them to experience things on the go. Jesus knew it took time to develop. And so realize it takes time to develop. This is not a microwave process, but if you have a simple and repeatable process, if you make time for development, and then you realize development takes time, you will see more leaders develop and more disciple makers develop. So if you'd like help developing a really simple process, I'd like to encourage you to check out the Missionary Pathway. The Missionary Pathway is filled not just with resources and content, but the Missionary Pathway actually gives you a simple process you can use to develop disciples. And if we can help you do that, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. Just check us out at missionarypathway.org. So if this video was a help to you, I wanna encourage you, click like and subscribe and share this out with somebody else. And we're looking forward to seeing you next week right here on Mission Insights.